So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own 3D virtual agents or digital avatars using Dialogflow and Unique. So recently I came across this website called Unique or uh, DigitalHumans.com. Uh, so they allow you to create very nice digital humans, you know, lifelike talking 3D uh, virtual avatars. And uh, I really liked it. So I, I thought uh, to share it with you. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to create your own virtual 3D avatars. And you can use these avatars on your mobile app, on your website. It can be also used on kiosk, you know, malls, airports train stations and all so let me show you how exactly uh, it look like uh, so if I go to personas I just created two persona here uh, let me show you this one let's get started it says you are about to start a conversation with one of our digital humans Audio and video data uh, will not be stored at the end of your conversation. Transcripts may be used to help us improve our platform. So that's fine. Just click on start. And there you go. Okay, so this is a digital uh, assistant or 3D avatar and this is like a demo that they have created okay so i haven't configured it it, it is just a demo uh, later on i will show you how to connect this uh, avatar with uh, dialog flow but let's just try it out so if i click on this guided conversation so she's asking what uh, is that i'm interested in so let's click on this what is a digital human? What is a digital human? That's a great question. Very eye-powered, lifelike beings that can recreate the best parts of human interaction, conversation, communication, and emotional connection. But, they can be available anytime a real person can't. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you never have a bad day. Okay, that's good. Let's talk, let's ask her, tell me more about you. I decided to transform the interface between man and machine. I combine the best human qualities with the advantages of scale, availability, and artificial intelligence. If you can imagine the user experience that is lacking a human touch, I can help. Cool. Uh, let's ask one more question how are digital humans being used right now unique digital humans are working in healthcare banking insurance telecommunications and retail sectors to name a few you can explore a little bit of how they're being used here which are you interested in okay let's say healthcare Great. So I think that's it. Uh, let's end this conversation and let's see how can we connect dialogue flow with this agent so she can actually speak what we want her to speak. Okay. So you can create your own conversation flow using dialogue flow and unique. So let's click on end conversation. Okay. And uh, there are a couple of options here. Like you see, let's uh, launch your digital human so you can actually click here launch your digital human and you can use their web sdk or ios sdk uh, i have already created some uh, 
I have already created some uh, agents here. So I'll, I'm just going to click on personas and uh, you can actually click on create new persona. So let me actually show you that jersey. So once you click on create your persona, it will uh, show you a couple of faces here. You can select one of the faces. Uh, let's say this one and you can click on next. You can select background. Uh, whichever you like um, let's say going with this one and you can give it a name let's call it Jenna or you can give it any name and then finally you can give her a voice so there are a couple of voice options here from Google and Amazon hi there I'm a digital human it's great to meet you right and uh, once you do this, uh, you can just click on start. Uh, since I've already created, I'm not going to click on start. I'm going to this one, which I've already created. And uh, you see, once you uh, complete the process, you will see something like this. So by default, you will see something like this, try mode, conversation platform, try mode. And try mode is where she speaks on her own. But what we are going to do is we going to change this to dialogue flow. We want to connect this with dialogue flow, right? And uh, I have already created a dialogue flow agent. And uh, if you see uh, the project ID is uh, just click on this gear icon and here you can see the project ID. So I just copied that project ID and I pasted it here. I selected language as English and uh, and then I need this service account private key file. Okay, so if you have seen my previous videos, you might be already aware of that how to create uh, service accounts. If not, just click on this link. Okay, and wait for Google Cloud platform to open. And once the Google Cloud platform is open, uh, you will see uh, just select the row if you if you are seeing multiple row just select the row which says dialog flow interactions integrations click on the three dot and create key just select json and create and that's it uh, json will be down downloaded okay on your machine so i have already done that so i have just uploaded the json file here it says uploaded previously click here to upload again i'm not going to do it again because i've already done that and uh, you should just select the uh, language and uh, uh, voice you can click on test voice to test the voice and just click on save okay once that is done go back to persona and click on try so i have connected uh, connected with this dialog flow so if you go to intents, you can see I've already created several intents here, like contact, default welcome, WhatsApp, where do you live and so on. You can create many more, but let's start with the default welcome intent. So if I say hi, hello, uh, it should say welcome to Excel Web Technologies. My name is Anna. I'm a digital assistant. Our company can help you create great chatbots just like me. May I know how can I help you? So let's see if that works. Cool. Welcome to Axel Web Technologies. My name is Anna and I am a digital assistant. Our company can help you create great chatbots just like me. May I know how can I help you? So that worked. Uh, I have created another intent called WhatsApp. Let's see. Uh, so if I go to intent, uh, I've created another one called WhatsApp chatbot. So I need a WhatsApp chatbot or I'm looking for a WhatsApp chatbot. And uh, we can add some expressions as well, you know, like excited. You can go through the documentation for more details, but I just added an excited one. So let's see, I can actually type here or I can speak as well. 
you know i can click on this uh, icon and i can speak for now i'm just typing Chat bot as per your requirements. Total cost and time to build the bot depends on your requirements. Cool. Uh, let's ask some funny question. Where do you live? I live on the cloud. It is very cloudy here right now, so I can't see you. That was good. Now let's click on this mic icon. And let's try. How can I contact you? You can email us on contact at axelwebtech.com or visit www.axelwebtech.com. So see how interesting it is and it could be very useful in different applications. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question, feel free to drop me an email. Uh, the email is in the description section below. Uh, if you like this video, just click on the like button. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.